this is Laura Hammock from the Marvel Jar channel, and in today's video, I will show you my trick for getting just about anything read out loud to you using the Goodreader app for iPhone or iPad. So I really like the convenience of having things read out loud to me. I spend a lot of time in my car driving my kids to activities and to practices. I also like to make use of the time that I spend doing mindless chores like unloading the dishwasher or raking leaves or cleaning the house. So I listen to books on tape with Audible and I'm fully addicted to podcasts which I listen to using the Stitcher app. You can see my video on that if you're interested. But sometimes I want something else read to me. An article, a lengthy email, my notes from a class, or a web page. So iOS does have a way to do this. You can highlight text in almost any app and then choose the speak option. I have been using Verizon's Famila base product for many years now. It's an add-on that you can buy from Verizon Wireless that I use. The problem for me is that there is no way to control this once it gets going. You have to go into the operating system settings to control how fast it speaks and there is not a way to pause or resume. So that is why I like to use the Goodreader app to read things out loud. In order to use Goodreader, the first thing you need to do is get whatever document or text that you want to be read aloud into the Goodreader app. There are a bunch of ways to do this. PDF. If your document is already a PDF, choosing the share option in any app will give you the option to copy the PDF to Goodreader. Web page. You can pull web pages directly um, in from Goodreader, but I find that that doesn't give you the options that you need. Instead, go into Safari, and then first I'm going to simplify the web page, if I can, using Reader View. So that's this button up here. Reader View strips all of the ads and the other distractions out of the page um, so that it's just the text of the article. So then I choose Share. And you can see that Share isn't giving me the option to copy to Goodreader since this is not a PDF. So instead, I'm going to choose Print, and then I'm going to pinch out. This is a tip for creating a PDF from a print file. So now that it's in PDF format, I can choose to share and that option is available to me. Copy to Goodreader. Email. So I use the same technique to send emails to Goodreader. Share, then print, then pinch out, share again, and copy to Goodreader. And finally, text. You can paste text directly into Goodreader by creating a text file. Within the app, under Manage Files, choose New TXT. Name the document, so I'm going to name this one Test, and here is your blank document. So make sure that you've already copied the text that you want read to you to your clipboard. Select anywhere on the document and paste it in. Okay, so now that your document is in Goodreader, you can select a highlighted passage or if you want the whole page read, push to select in any area where there's no text and choose Speak. So you're going to see this nifty control panel come up. Um, in a text document, you can't highlight the text, so there is a Speak button down here which performs the same function. So first of all, the highlight um, follows what is being read like a bouncing ball at a sing-along. You can use these two sliding levers to change the volume and also the voice speed. You can also pause and resume play. Pushing the jump ahead or the jump, jump back buttons will go to the next paragraph, although this tends to be a little bit weird in PDFs since it uses optical character recognition and it does not differentiate well between par uh, paragraph breaks and wrapped text. You can choose to read the current page or all of the pages in the document, and hitting the stop button stops the read aloud and closes out the control panel. So clearly the robotic voice is not nearly as good as a human reading it to you, but it allows me to finish my reading on the way to class and read articles that I might not otherwise get to. Let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated and thanks for watching.